Linear functions and slope. Slope is a measure of the slant of the line, how steep it is. The letter M is used to represent slope. It's also called the rise over the run or the vertical change compared to the horizontal change. As a formula, we put the difference in Y's on top. That is the vertical change. You have to go in the same direction with the X coordinates. That is your horizontal change or your run. Uh, given two points, we will use that formula to find the slope. Uh, I like to label each point. So if I'm calling this point 1, this will be X1, Y1. This will be X2, Y2. And then we will just plug in. So M is equal to on change in Y's over change in X's. Right? Y2 is 4 minus Y1. You have to be careful. That is a negative 1. Use parentheses. And uh, X2 minus x1, again use your parentheses because you have another negative there. This minus is part of the formula, but you're plugging in negative values. And then just clean it up. So this will be 4 plus 1 will give us 5. This will be plus, and so this will be a positive 1 or 5. It goes up five units. For every unit, it goes across. If they just ask you slope, you could put five. Here's our next example. Same thing. We're given two points. They would like us to give the slope. Let's label the points. This is x1, y1, x2, y2, m is equal to change in y's over change in x's, plug in. So we have negative 9 minus 4 over 5 minus a negative 3. Clean up. We have like signs. Add keep the sign. And this gives you a positive. So this is 8. Um, just leave it like that. It says for every 13 units you go down, you go across 8. Uh, this is an example of a negative slope, and if you have a line, it's going to go down as you go to the right. I didn't um, give an example for the other one. The other one was positive, and it would have gone up as you go to the right. But negative goes down as you go to the right. I have another example to do. They're giving us one of each case. Uh, so... They're giving us two points. They want the slope. Label your points. X1, Y1. X2, Y2. Write your formula. Change in Y's. Over. Change in X's. Plug in. Right, Y2 is 8. Minus Y1. 8 over x2, 9 minus 4. This time we get a 0 in the numerator. So it really doesn't matter what the denominator is. This one is 0. And this says um, you don't go up or down. So the height doesn't change, but you can go across for these points five units. So this gives you a horizontal line. Zero slope always gives a horizontal line. I'm going to just go back to this for just a moment. Um, when you're looking at ordered pairs, when either your x's or your y's are the same and you're going to find slope, you realize it's a special case. When the y's are the same, 
it will give you a zero in the numerator, which is zero, so a horizontal line. For our next example, we can see right off that the x's this time are the same, and so it's going to give us a zero in the denominator. Uh, let's go ahead and go through the steps. So this will be x1, y1, x2, y2. Write your formula, change in y's, over, change in x's, y2 is 2, minus y1, which is 3, over 4, minus 4. So this gives us negative 1 over 0. Um, if you think back just even to arithmetic, um, you're not allowed to have a 0 in the denominator. So this one you're going to answer undefined for slope. And it goes with a vertical line. Right. You have change um, up and down, but no change across. Here you have an example of each. Your first one is a positive slope. As you go toward the right, it climbs. So this one is a positive slope. The next one going across is a negative slope. As you move toward the right, it goes down. You always talk about toward the right. Third one is a horizontal line. Horizontal line has a zero slope. The last one is a vertical line. Vertical line has an undefined slope. You don't want to use the term no slope. No slope is confusing as to whether you mean zero or und undefined. So use undefined for your vertical line. Next we're going to look at writing the equation of the line. Um, they give you three formulas on uh, your note packet, but I am adding one more to that. Um, the point slope form of a line is what you will actually use to write your equation of the line. Um, the slope intercept form. Um, you might be asked to change into that and give your final answer as that. Uh, and I have always used standard form, uh, but general form just puts your constant on the other side with your x and y. Uh, so whichever of those you're asked for, it's just a matter of algebra manipulating to get either one of these last three. All right, so to write your equation of the line, you will always need one point and a slope. So for our first problem, they are asking us to write the point slope form of the line's equation and then write in slope intercept form. They have given us the information we need, a slope and one point. So we're going to use the point slope form. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Um, 3 is our m, and this is our x1, y1. So we'll plug in. So we have y minus 6 equals 3 parentheses x minus, be careful here, is a negative 2. You'll clean that up. That's going to be plus. All right, that is your point slope form, but they want you to manipulate that to slope intercept form, which means isolate the y. So distribute here, you have 3x plus 6. And to get y, y by itself, we just need to add this 6 to the other side. So we get y equals 3x plus 12. Again, they are giving us slope and one point, and they want us to write the equation of the line first with the point-slope form, which is a standard thing to do, 
and then they want us to change to slope intercept form. Uh, the difference on this one is they're giving us a fraction. Uh, with general or standard form, you have to clear the fraction out. Um, they didn't ask for that, but we will probably need to do it. So we have y minus y1 is m times x minus x1. You should always write your formula first. This is your point. All right, so we have y minus 1 equals negative 2 thirds times x minus a negative 4. Right, I would clear the fraction, so I would multiply across by 3. So I would do a 3 here. here and here. That will cancel this one. So it gives you 3y minus 3 equals. You have a negative 2 here to distribute. Now this is x plus 4. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x and negative 2 times a positive 4 is a negative Eight. Right, and now we'll uh, move it around. So they want slope intercept form. So we need to add this 3. That will leave us 3y equals negative 2x. Watch your signs here. It's going to give you a minus 5. And then we have to divide by 3 to get y by itself. Uh, when you're working with lines, divide under each piece. So I'll just rewrite here my final answer. Y equals, you can pull your slope away from your x, negative 2 third x minus 5 thirds. For our next problem, they still want us to write the equation of the line, uh, but notice they gave us two points. They did not give us slope. So our first job is to find slope because you have to have one point and a slope. So we are going to use our slope formula first. We'll label, we'll call this x1, y1, x2, y2. Write your formula for slope. So m equals change in y's over change in x's and plug in. So I have 2 minus 6 over 4 minus a negative 2 gives me negative 4 over 6 which I should reduce to get negative 2 thirds. So my slope is negative 2 thirds and I'll just use my point number 1 there. So now I write my point slope form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. You plug into the one with the subscripts. So I have y minus my y1 is 6 equals m negative 2 thirds times x minus my x1 which is negative 2. Um, it's okay just to clean that up and put plus 2 if you're careful. All right, we're going to get rid of the fractions again, so uh, we need to multiply 3 by 3. Clean up. So I have 3y minus 18 equals, here I have a negative 2 times x plus 2. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x, negative 2 times 2 is a negative 4. Now you go to the form they asked for, and they asked for slope-intercept form. So we're going to move the 18, so add an 18 to both sides. You have to watch your signs here. You have different signs, so you really subtract. Sign of the larger. And then you have to divide out the 3. 
remember with lines you do it all the way across so my slope intercept form is y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 14 thirds we have one last example to do and it says write the equation of the line passing through 1 5 with x intercept 2 um, remember we have to have one point and a slope so we have to figure out how to get slope here you have to remember what it means to be an x intercept for an x intercept the y is always 0 so this point is 2 0 so it's 2 out on the x-axis and it doesn't go up or down right um, so now we have two points we can find slope so change in y's over change in x's plug in so we have 0 minus 5 over uh, 2 minus 1 gives us negative 5 over 1 or negative 5 for slope. Now we write point slope formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. You plug in with the subscripts so y minus uh, y1 is 5 equals m which is negative 5 times x minus x1 is 1 and then we'll clean up just to get to slope intercept form distribute your negative 5 and then you have to isolate this y so you're going to add this 5 to both sides and now you have slope intercept form